This video has been made possible by Rebus Farm, the professional render service. Hey guys, a few years back I did a, a tutorial on how to create lightning in Maya. That was in uh, 2014 and uh, here's a shot of the video. And uh, considering it's been a couple of years and this is a very popular topic, I decided to do it again, but this time in Maya 2017. Okay, so here we go. Hey guys, welcome back. Well, today we're going to do a redo on a tutorial that I did back in 2014. I did a video on how to create lightning in Maya, uh, but like I said, in Maya 2014, and a lot has changed in Maya since then. Uh, menus have changed, things have been moved around, and so forth. So we're going to do a quick redo on how to create lightning in Maya 2017. All right. Okay, so we're going to start off by creating two polygon objects. Now, I'm going to take, a, let's say, a sphere and a cube, and I'll just uh, select one of them, move it over. There you go. Now, keep in mind, this can be any polygon object. So let's say you have a cloud that is a polygon object, for example, and you have a house, then you can have the lightning go from the cloud to the house or to a tree or whatever. It doesn't have to be a cube or a sphere. Now, if you don't really like that method, what you can do is use these instead, but then when the lighting is created, we are hiding these, and I'll show you how to do that, okay? But let's start by creating our lightning. So we've got one object selected, we're gonna hit Shift and click on the other one, and with both selected, we're gonna go to the FX menu, and we're gonna go up to Effects and down to Lightning and hit the Option box. Now here we're going to give a name to our lightning, specifically if you want to create more than one. Um, you know, if you have got multiple lightning bolts going on, we'll call this new. And then here you have a number of settings you can tweak. Um, you can uh, increase the thickness of the bolt if you like. I wouldn't recommend it because it already is uh, pretty prominent. Uh, you know, you can uh, um, tweak the spread and so forth. Um, the one that I like a lot is the lightning glow intensity. That tends to be a bit much. So let's uh, do this on one uh, 0 0.2, for example. And then we're going to hit create. Okay. Now, once this is created, a couple of things happen. First of all, you have control over how the lightning uh, looks and where it's positioned. You can, for example, take this object and as you move it around, you can see that the lightning is following dynamically. And obviously you can do the same here. But what's cool is you have controls sitting here and here that will allow you to uh, control the flow. So if I take this, I can move that up and down and here the same deal, okay? So if I want some funky looking lightning bolt, I can do that, okay? So that's uh, good. But also, because we created this, if we open up our attribute editor with our uh, bolt selected, uh, let's see, we'll just uh, select this guy. Here you have your lightning shader. So if you want to, for example, uh, change the color, if you want to change the, um, the transparency, uh, and so forth and so forth. Basically, the basic settings, right? Now, what's really important is what does this look like once it's rendered? So I don't really want to see my sphere and my cube. So I'm going to hit Control H to hide those. I'm going to go into my render settings. Now I'm going to use a mental ray for this simply because that's my preferred renderer, but you don't necessarily have to. I'm not quite sure if this works with every renderer, but I know for sure it works with a mental ray. Okay. I'm going to set this to a size of HD 1080 and uh, my quality tab, let's uh, bump that up to, let's say close to 1.5 and uh, the rest of it fine. Okay. Well, let's uh, give this a go and there we go. And I'll just uh, hit escape on that so we can hit it here and see how that develops. And the cool thing is the final render effect will only be visible once it's done. So hang on, there you go. You can see uh, the lightning bolt itself is quite thin, uh, but the light spread is still um, quite present, okay? So uh, that's how you do it. That's all there's to it. If you have any questions, as always, let me know. And that said, thank you guys for watching and see you guys next time.
Well, thanks for watching. And before you go, please hit that MH button to subscribe, okay? See you guys next time. Bye.